American Bully vs. Marlene Wa. Hello my friends. In today's video we will examine the differences between the American Bully and Marlene Wa dog breeds. Because they are two different dog breeds, each has its own unique characteristics. The American Bully is a generally calm dog breed and is known to be family friendly. He has great musculature and head and is a brave training buddy. However, they may find it difficult to do their exercises. On the other hand, the Malinois is a more active dog breed and is often used for security and protection purposes. They have a smaller build, but due to their high energy, their exercise requirements are quite high. They are also known for being open to education. The biggest difference between the two dog breeds is their purpose. The American Bully is better suited to living in the home, while the Malinwa is more used for task purposes. So, if you are looking for a cute and calm companion, American Bully may be the right choice for you. However, if you want to do more exercise and training, the Malinwa may be a more suitable option for you. Can you tell me about the dimensions of the two races? Of course, the size difference between the American Bully and Malinwa breeds is quite pronounced. American bullies usually have a height of 43 to 51 centimeters and a weight of 30 to 60 kilograms. They look quite strong because they have a large musculature. Malinois, on the other hand, are a smaller breed of dog. They usually have a height of 56 to 66 centimeters and a weight of 25 to 30 kilograms. Their body structures are agile and flexible. However, the standards of both breeds may vary and these available data may not always be accurate. Your dog's diet, amount of exercise, and health can also affect its size. Which breed should I choose to keep at home? Choosing the right dog breed to keep at home is very important. Both the American Bully and Malinwa are two different dog breeds with different needs. If you want a calmer dog and are looking for a companion that is suitable for living at home, the American Bully may be the right choice for you. This breed is generally known for their protective and loyal nature. Also, the exercise requirements are moderate. However, if you can afford more exercise and are looking for an active dog, the Malinois may be a better fit for you. This breed is famous for its high energy and agility. However, the exercise requirements are quite high and the training requirements are also quite intense. Also, before choosing any breed, you need to consider factors such as your dog's care, exercise needs, dietary requirements. Every dog is individual and may have different needs. Therefore, when you adopt a dog, you should make sure that you have time to meet his needs. Are their lifetimes similar? No, lifespans between American Bully and Malinois breeds may differ. The average life expectancy of American Bully is usually between 8 to 12 years. However, some dogs may have longer or shorter lives. The average life expectancy of Malinois is between 12 to 14 years. However, this too can vary depending on each dog's individual health and care. A proper diet, exercise program, and regular veterinary checks are necessary for both breeds to lead a healthy life. In addition, genetic factors can also affect lifespan. Therefore, before owning a dog, it is important to learn about the care and health of your dog. By having regular checkups with your veterinarian, you can ensure that your dog leads a healthy life. Why does Malinois live longer? There are several reasons why the Malinois may live longer than the American Bully. These may include 1. Genetics the Malinois breed may be a genetically healthier breed. A good genetic makeup can help the dog lead a healthy life. 2. Exercise requirements. The Malinois is a breed with higher exercise needs. Getting more exercise contributes to the dog's physical and mental health. This, in turn, can help the dog lead a healthier life. 3. Education. The Malinois breed is open to education and is a smart breed. Regular training of the dog can help him live a healthy life. Regular exercise and training can contribute to a dog's physical and mental health, leading to a long and healthy life. However, each dog is individual and many factors affect its lifespan. 
Many factors such as environmental factors, care, nutrition, veterinary control can affect the lifespan of the dog. Therefore, as a dog owner, it is important that you take all the necessary steps for your dog to lead a healthy life. Speaking of genetics, can you talk a little bit about the inherited diseases of the two races? Of course, there are several diseases that can be inherited between the American Bully and Malinois breeds. Hereditary diseases commonly seen in American Bullies include Hip dysplasia. This is a condition that results from improper development of the hip. It can negatively affect the dog's mobility and quality of life. Cataract. A cataract is a defect in the lens of the eye and can affect a dog's eyesight. Inherited diseases that are frequently seen in the Malinois breed include Hypothyroidism. This is a condition in which the thyroid gland does not work properly. It can affect the dog's metabolism and cause weight gain. Dilatative cardiomyopathy. This is a condition that results from the enlargement and weakening of the heart. It can cause the dog to experience respiratory distress and fatigue. If any hereditary disease is identified, veterinary control and treatment are of great importance. Also, in order to have a healthy dog, your dog needs regular veterinary checkups, proper nutrition, and exercise. Which breed is easier to take care of? Feather care or something? Hair care and general dog grooming are important for any dog breed. However, there are differences in coat care between the American Bully and Malinois breeds. The short hair of the American Bully breed makes it very easy to care for the coat. Brushing a few times a week may be sufficient. Also, this breed has a low bathing requirement. A few times a year may be sufficient. The Malinois breed has longer hair. Therefore, hair care should be done more often. Brushing once or twice a week can help keep hair healthy. Also, this breed's bathroom requirement may also be once or twice a week. However, each dog is individual and grooming requirements can vary. It is important to determine the appropriate grooming program, taking into account your dog's coat, skin, and health condition. As a result, the American Bully breed may require easier grooming, while the Malinois breed may require more grooming. However, other factors, such as the dog's physical and mental health, also have an impact on ease of care. How much will I pay if I want to buy a pup, and can you talk about monthly maintenance costs? Prices for puppies of the American Bully and Malinois breeds can vary depending on many factors. These may include factors such as the pedigree of the breed, the health of the parents, the location of the breeder, and the costs of production. Generally, American Bully puppies can be sold for $1,000 to $5,000 and Malinois puppies for $2,500 to $10,000. However, these prices may vary depending on the breed's pedigree, breeder quality, and regional factors. Monthly grooming costs can also vary depending on your dog's needs and the region you live in. On average, a monthly cost of $200 to $500 can be anticipated for your dog. These costs may include Quality dog food, it can cost around $150 to $300 per month. Vet check, you may need to budget around $100 to $200 per month for regular vet checkups. Accessories, for your dog's leash, bedding, toys, and other accessories, you can expect a monthly cost of around $50 to $100. Of course, this is just an average estimate and may be higher or lower depending on your dog's needs. It is important to prepare a budget to cover all the expenses necessary for your dog's health and happiness. Tell us a little bit about the history of the two races, please. The American Bully and Malinois breeds come from different historical backgrounds. The American Bully breed originated in the United States in the 1990s. The formation of this breed was realized as a result of crossbreeding different dog breeds such as American Pit Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, Bulldog, and Mastiff. The American Bully breed was chosen for its less aggressive and more friendly personality. For this reason, this breed is often preferred by families to keep it at home. The Malinois breed originated in Belgium. The name, which is derived from the French word Malin, which is the French name of the Belgian city of Mechelen, refers to the Mechelen region, which is considered the homeland of this breed. 
The Malinois was bred as a working dog in the mid-19th century. It was originally used as a shepherd dog and later also served as a police dog or military dog. The Malinois is known for its courage and loyal nature and is often used by security forces. Both races have different historical backgrounds and have served different uses. However, today both breeds are popular for homekeeping and require regular grooming and exercise to lead a healthy and happy life. So why do security forces choose Malinois over American Bully? Security forces prefer the Malinois breed over the American Bully breed because the Malinois is considered a skilled working dog. These dogs can be used for many tasks thanks to their naturally brave and intelligent nature. The Malinois is highly effective in finding explosives or drugs, rescuing hostages, catching criminals, border security, and other security areas, especially when serving as a police dog or military dog. Also, the Malinois breed is known for its high energy level and endurance. Thanks to these features, they can maintain their performance even when they have to work for long hours. The American Bully breed is mostly preferred as a pet. Its soft character, friendliness, and loyal nature make it ideal to be kept at home by families. For this reason, security forces prefer the American Bully breed to be kept as a pet rather than as a working dog. As a result, the Malinois breed is considered a working dog and is favored by security forces. The American Bully breed, on the other hand, is preferred to be kept as a pet. I got it. Let's talk about the bands. Can you talk a little bit about the countries or regions in the world where both races are banned? Unfortunately, the American Bully and Malinois breeds are banned in some countries or regions. Therefore, when choosing these breeds, it is important to pay attention to the legal regulations in the region where you live. For example, the American Bully breed is banned in some countries. These countries include places such as France, Romania, Israel, Australia. In addition, it is known that this breed is completely or partially banned in some states in the United States. While the Malinois breed does not generally face any prohibitions, it can be considered an aggressive dog in some countries and therefore certain restrictions may be imposed. For example, a special permit may be required for the Malinois breed in Germany. The legal regulations of each country and region may differ, so it is difficult to give a definitive list on this subject. However, it is important that you pay attention to the legal regulations in your region when choosing a breed. You also need to be mindful of dog training and socialization, as your dog's behavior and training can also affect regulations. One last question, so as not to make the video too long. Let's say I have a child and also a pet. Which breed should I choose? The relationship between children and pets is something that must be carefully chosen to always have a healthy and happy environment. Both the American Bully and Malinois breeds have a structure that can get along well with children and offer them a loyal companionship. However, you may need to consider some factors to determine which breed is best suited to your family structure. For example, the American Bully breed can be preferred for families who are in close contact with children as it is more calm and mild-tempered. Also, the playful and social nature of this breed is ideal for playing with children. The Malinois breed, on the other hand, has a more active and energetic structure. Therefore, it may be more suitable for families with a physically active family or a child with an interest in outdoor activities. However, this breed needs a more intense training and exercise program. Finally, no matter what breed you choose, you need to be diligent about your dog's training, socialization, and regular veterinary checkups. Thus, your dog can lead a healthy and happy life and live in harmony with your family. The video is over. Tell us your last words, smiley face. Finally, dogs are one of the most loyal and loving companions of humans. The American Bully and Malinois breeds also reflect these traits and can make great pet companions to families. However, it is important to always choose the right breed. By understanding your dog's needs and determining the appropriate training, feeding and care program, you can ensure that they lead a healthy and happy life. It should also be noted that dogs can offer great companionship for children. 
Finally, owning a dog is a big responsibility and you should always take care of your dog's health and well-being. I hope you will make a good friendship 